So hey there everybody, just to let you know right up front, no, this is not turning into a cooking channel here. We're still talking about drones, but we're gonna make an analogy here today about drone deliverables, and that's coming up next. All right, everybody, welcome to Arizona Drone. My name is Rich Charpentier. I'm the channel host. And as always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few minutes. Today, we're gonna to be talking about drone deliverables because I still get a lot of questions on drone deliverables. And we're gonna try a fun analogy here. So what we're looking at on screen right now is a lot of um, burgers. And no, it's not lunchtime yet and I'm not feeling really hungry, but um. I wanted to talk about drone deliverables, and I think this is a great way to come at it. So we're taking a look at burgers and the components of burgers. Now, we're all familiar, I think we're all familiar with uh, hamburgers. And if we're not familiar with it, I'm, I'm sorry you've missed out on that. But um, burgers have several different things that come together and um, become your lunch for the day. So when we're thinking about going to a restaurant and getting a burger, what you get, what is finally brought to your table so that you can enjoy your lunch, is a completed deliverable. So in theory, you could end up going to a restaurant where they give you all of the components separately. If they brought out a plate that had a bun, that had uh, beef, maybe some pickles, maybe some, uh, maybe some tomatoes, maybe some cheese, uh, and lettuce, of course. What if somebody brought out a big plate to you and had all the components just not put together? That'd be kind of a weird dining experience. And that can also be a weird dining experience for our clients who we're delivering data and images to with our drones. So over the past couple of years, I've been refining my own deliverables and I've gotten a lot of response and reactions from folks and I really appreciate the questions. And since we've gotten some more private questions recently through azdrone.net, I thought I'd go through this once more with the burger analogy. So in the case of doing drone construction progression reporting or doing new raw land sites, um, each of the jobs can be different things aren't always the same. They don't always come out looking like that complete burger. Now, some of my clients only want still images. Some of them sometimes want still images and video. Others want 360 degree images, stills, video. Maybe they even want two dimensional and three dimensional models. Now, all of these things that we can generate for our clients we're usually generating on multiple platforms. So for our 3D modeling, I use Metashape, and then I export my model from Metashape to Sketchfab. And in Sketchfab, I can show my three-dimensional model and I can present it online. I can also make two-dimensional models with Metashape, and that's another component. So all the different pieces come together to form our final deliverable package. Now, we can make deliverables really interesting for folks, or we can make them more difficult. Remember that burger that I told you we've got all the pieces apart? They weren't assembled together and we've got to put them together? Well, oftentimes to deliver some of our data to clients, um, we use things like Dropbox or uh, Google Drive or the, the OneShare Drive. And we make a bunch of folders for our clients and in those folders can be still images or maybe video components, or maybe components for two-dimensional and three-dimensional models, or maybe components for 360-degree photos. All of these things aren't usually put together. Nine times out of 10, you're using two or three different services. Maybe you're using Pix4D for your three-dimensional model. Maybe you're using Kula for your 360 presentation. Maybe you're just dropboxing all of the data to your clients and depending on them to assemble the final product. Hey, we met their deliverables, we gave them images, we gave them video, nobody told us to edit it. Well, that won't go over really well with your clients for long. Folks are looking for complete solutions. And right now, today, I can tell you there's not 
a lot of complete solutions out there for us as drone pilots. While the industry is growing and more people know about what we can do, we're still missing a lot of standards. We're, we're, uh, we're missing that pulling things together to produce the final burger. And that's been something that I've been working on for quite a while now. And let me head on over and uh, let's go to this one. So over the weekend, I've been playing with some new tools for delivering items to my clients. Now, usually I'll give them a really nice custom private web page where they can look at the final assembly of their, uh, of their drone request to us. So this one, this is super simple, but this might be very familiar and interesting to some of you. So I do utilize Dropbox for sharing all of the components that we give to our clients. So the clients do get folders of the raw images, the raw video, but then we also do an assembly for them on a custom web page built for them. Because as I said before, not everyone's gonna want everything. If you're ordering a burger, maybe you don't want cheese on it. Maybe you don't want tomatoes on it. So, you know, the cheese and tomato could be three dimensional models, 360 images, whatever. Um, so we do deliver to clients the original data that was processed, but we take the next step of also putting things into a nicer presentation. So Dropbox is a very simple example where I make a bunch of folders with the stills, with the videos, maybe the 360s, maybe the two dimensional models. And I usually set up a folder for each of these so that the clients have the components. But I also take those components and we produce something more. What's really cool, by the way, you're looking at a WordPress website, you don't have to just use WordPress. But for our custom pages that we've got on See My Build, I've been uh, playing with some really interesting tools and an interesting plugin over the weekend. And so I'm just scrolling down to my downloadable video because I do provide clients with a downloadable video normally in a Dropbox and I send them the link to it so that they can upload it to whatever video service they're using. Well, there's a plugin for WordPress that allows you to display your Dropbox folders and you can manage security and make sure that only certain people are getting into it. But since I was doing a demo here for you today, I didn't do any of the security on it or anything, so you could actually pop by uh, seemybuild.com and check out the Bell Springs Kirkland, Arizona presentation. What we have here, we've got a video, just like embedding a video uh, from YouTube or from Vimeo, but this video is being fed out from the Dropbox that I created for the clients. Not only that, but the clients can watch the video here, they can embed the video elsewhere, and they can download right here down in the lower right hand corner, they can actually download this video so that they could upload it to the platform they want to use. Or they could provide people with the web address that I'm providing them with, and uh, folks can go view the video there. So we've got the download button right here, and let's just go ahead and click on this. So this is a plugin, and this plugin very simply uh, pulls from my own Dropbox account, which is absolutely awesome. Recently, I had a client who wasn't very familiar with Dropbox and they had some problems um, getting to where they needed to go. I sent them a private link. Uh, I also did folder sharing, but they were just not used to the Dropbox format. After doing that for them, this time around, I could just send them to this web page and they can grab the components they want to upload elsewhere. And this gives us a feel of a full presentation. Now, since this was a small thing, we were only doing video and stills for these clients, we don't have the deluxe burger with everything on it. We've got a simple basic one. Um, we can also do a photo gallery and image downloads from Dropbox as well. So up here in the upper right hand corner, I can say select all, I can download the entire folder. So very easily the clients can get all of their still images for their upload to MLS if they're doing that themselves. And um, they can also just get offline versions of their things. Now this is a super simple presentation um, and we can include other things with it. So I just wanted to show you if you're utilizing, utilizing Dropbox, but maybe you've got some clients who aren't fully up on technology, building a custom web page um, at first might seem a little daunting, but as you start doing it more and more, uh, it does become easier. And uh, so, like I said, we're using WordPress to build these. 
And just to show you, there are other companies out there who are providing a similar solution. So this is from Show Tours and uh, Show and Tour. And they have a very simple layout where you can download all your photos. Uh, you can watch the video, you can download the video, you can share the video. And all of these things we can do with this simple one that I created over the weekend. This by no means is a polished presentation. This was me testing um, this new service. So by the way, if you are a WordPress user and you're looking to create more stylized and custom presentations for your clients and deliverables for your clients, the name of the new plugin that we are testing here, let's go to WordPress admin really quick. And the name of the plugin for WordPress is called Out of the Box. Now they have a version for Dropbox, they have a version uh, for Google Drive, they have a version for the Microsoft version. So um, they have several versions for you to work with and then you can pull data right out of your Dropbox and put it into a nicer presentation. So once again, this is a very simple deliverable. Think of it as a very simple hamburger that we've actually assembled for them. They didn't get condiments, they didn't have any extras, just the burger and the bun. From there, we actually provide some additional extras. Now, some of you familiar with this channel will probably recognize this is one of my favorite projects because this was a much longer term project for us, but we ended up flying this site for months and months. And so we did a little extra with our layout. Part of our layout allows our clients to go through each month to see the progression that occurred on their job sites. And right now we have the most recent through um, one of the earlier ones. Now, when we do these customized deliverables, uh, nine times out of 10, we usually do have these locked for privacy just for the clients alone. Now, you can make it fully public, and that's a question that you want to ask your clients. But in the case of this deliverable, uh, most of these are locked down and password protected. So if I go and I try to use this one really quick, so I just clicked on it, and in a moment it's going to complain to me, hey, this content is password protected. To view it, you got to enter the password below. So the client has that. But just for the purposes of this demonstration, I did make one open for a few so that we could take a look at this. And if I hit read more on the August, we can actually see some of our deliverables. We can see that hamburger coming together. So in this case, we just did a still image. We also gave a little bit of explanation as to what went into this. So we've got a progression video. And at the time, we were using YouTube for these. Now with that new plugin, I could actually use my Dropbox account and stream directly out of the Dropbox. And that means that we're not going to get hit with the YouTube advertising or anything. And so it's a much cleaner presentation for the client. In addition to doing the progression video, we also did job site stills. Once again, in here, I'm actually using Slider Revolution to slow the, show this slideshow. Now that I have this new plugin for Dropbox, I can actually make a slideshow within Dropbox. We can actually make a slideshow based off, off of the Dropbox content, and we can have those before and afters in there as well. So one less uh, additional item of editing here for us taking additional time away. And then finally, we also do have an ortho mosaic before and after model. So it's a two dimensional model. We could have also included a three dimensional model of this site as well, but that's not something the client was looking for. So this is a more complex burger with some additional toppings going on. And also that initial presentation, let's go ahead and arrow back. Um, that initial presentation actually shows us our whole series. So they're getting some deluxe packaging going on here. And these are all deliverables. But these look a lot better than just sending your clients to a web-based file system for them to fend for themselves, right? So that's the whole reason we focused a lot on deliverables over the past couple of years. And I'm going to move on to one more. So this is another example of a, a layout for a client. And once again, the clients are usually looking for some video. They're usually looking for stills and before and after stills. And for a lot of our construction clients, they're looking for before and after ortho mosaic models. So a lot of things coming together. Now, as I noted before, we do provide those clients with their private Dropbox folders where they can download. They can actually upload additional information to us if we're putting something together for them. But in the end, 
would you rather have that complete burger or would you rather have a giant plate with all of the components strewn about and leave it up to your client to have to do the final assembly? I would suggest the more that we can do for our clients, the more we become a premium service for them and a service that they come back to over and over again. I can tell you that the folks that we worked with at Clark Whalen paid us some very nice compliments about the work we did for them in the Prescott area, and they were extremely satisfied with the, um, with the presentation and also with the fact that they still got all of the components as well handed to them. So there's a quick overview of uh, pergers and drones and deliverables. And normally if we're gonna go into a restaurant, we do expect a completed burger. So when we're providing these types of services to our clients, um, they are also looking for a completed presentation because not everyone is going to dig into each of the individual still images that we provided them. Um, even though that's available to them, that's a terrible way to have to look at it and figure out your best presentation um, as one of our clients. We want to make sure that we provide our clients an end-to-end -end solution from start to finish and that we give them some bonuses and some premium features that they might not find with other drone operators in our area. So think about distinguishing yourself. Make sure that you make the best looking presentation possible for your clients. And finally, I do wanna say, so I am utilizing WordPress. I have done deliverable courses previously, um, but one of the things that I've been thinking about, so let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a full deliverable class from us. If you see a full del deliverable class from us, I will have to caution you that we're gonna be using WordPress. That's the web solution that we're utilizing. You can use things like Squarespace. You can use things like Wix. They're going to have different plugins, but in the end, it's the same principle that we're doing a higher end presentation. We're going beyond just file sharing and we're getting into higher end presentation for the clients. So let me know, would you like to see a video course series like that? Because I'd be happy to do it. But I want to make sure that folks aren't going to be disappointed that I'm not using other platforms like Squarespace or Wix or any of the other web building platforms out there. This is our platform of choice, but if we were to do a longer class on it, you'd still get the big broad concepts. You just have to learn how to do your own editing in the uh, web building package that you choose to use. Well, all right, everybody, I hope that you had fun with our non-cooking class today, and I hope this one provided some insights into some of the new things that we're doing for our clients. Please feel free to stop by azdrone.net to see an explanation of our overall business, and stop by seemybuild.com. This is a test platform right now. It's a beta platform. We're not really putting a bunch of live clients in here. We're still using azdrone.net but we're toying around with the idea of several different types of templates depending on our client's needs. And we're using See My Build to actually experiment with that. Now, before I pop off, we'll just go over to See My Build. And right now it is a very simple site and we just have a couple of Arizona builds. And if you go through each of these, you'll notice some differences um, in layouts and in presentation. And we'd like to be able to offer more than just one type of burger to our clients. So um, we, we'd like to be fancier in some cases and we'd like to be more rudimentary in other cases. This one, we have the latest video flight and then we can actually see that we've got previous video flights and still flights that we can go through. And on the latest presentation, we also have a 360 for showing the home interior before that home interior was completed. So no matter what types of components are going into your deluxe burger, um, I want to be able to make sure that we can display all those to clients so they've got a one-stop shop just to go right on through and see the status of their project. All right, everybody, we'll see you again in the really near future. For our Patreon channel members, remember this upcoming Sunday, um, let me see here, I think that's the 19th or 18th, uh, we'll be doing our standard Zoom meeting at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So we'll see you guys there as well. To everyone else, have a great start to the week, and I hope that you learned something from this and found it informative.